Hi guys. So today I want to talk about coping with feedback that you are anticipating. So negative feedback or inappropriate feedback. Um, last night after I posted my vlog, um, Chase and I worked late. So we got Thai food and went to bed. And I woke up around four in the morning because I couldn't sleep. I think I got a big case of the whole MSG situation and had a horrible morning of lying in bed, just trying to sleep and feeling terrible. So finally, I just got out my phone and I thought, I'll check my emails. And I get all these emails from YouTube. You have new comment, new comment, new comment, new comment. Now, that's really weird. I don't really get that many comments on my YouTube videos. This is a very new thing. Um, started reading them and it was not what I needed to read at four in the morning while I'm trying to sleep and already like high on MSG. And what it looks like happened is I tagged sex, love, and blogging the link in the YouTube footnotes. And so all of the late night boys that were searching for sex things on YouTube found me and commented. This is not the first time that I've had um, unexpected feedback. Um, there was a post, a, a comment left on Morphosis about six months ago now. It was really harsh. Um, someone just does not like me. They don't like anything about me. They don't like my blog. They don't like me. And they explained it incredibly explicitly. And it was hard to read. And of course, at first I cried and um, I called Chase and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I should approve it and put it on the site, but I didn't want to not approve it. I mean, it's it's not like I'm going to censor it so only the good things are said about me. So finally I decided not only was I going to approve it, but I created an entire post around it. Um, I thought if those are things maybe other people are thinking that I don't need to change their minds and I don't need everyone to like me, but I am proud of who I am and I'm proud of what I'm doing online and I can stick up for myself. So I um, copy and pasted the comment, put it in a post, titled it, Meet the Man Who Literally Hates Me, and addressed each point that they made in their um, piece. So that felt good and the outpouring of support was unbelievable. Um, people were coming to the site all night. I got, you know, lots of comments, lots of emails. Um, it was really, really, really meaningful. And so, I mean, I know that those are my friends that are sticking up for me and that there's still people out there that don't like me and that is okay. If you're doing anything, if you're saying anything, people aren't going to like you. What's that famous quote? So people don't like you, good, that means you're sticking up for something, or that means you believe in something. The only way to make everyone happy is to, I don't know, just be a fly on the wall. So, saw that coming. Um, the feedback I got last night wasn't wasn't quite like that, and I went through and um, marked them all as spam, so most of them should be deleted now, just because um, I don't think it looks very professional, and it's not what I want new people to my blog or new people to, to my brand and what I'm doing to see. But I thought we could address some of them. So since Tim has made it very clear that this is a an appropriate blogging challenge, I will censor myself. But I took screenshots of some of the comments and so I thought we could just we could go through them. Some of my favorite. So let's see here. That's a great kitchen you have there. I think they might be responding to the fact that there was wine on the table back there, and that's just because I bring all the liquor downstairs um, because I live with roommates. You guys know how that goes. So keep a lot of things down here. That's why I sort of look like a hermit. This is not an, actually a kitchen. This is a basement. So, oh, Canada, this is a, not a kitchen, but thank you for, for complimenting it. You're gorgeous, but you bore me. Okay. Mike, so sick. First of all, that's the wrong version of your. So your with an apostrophe R-E is you are. You did your, which means like I own gorgeous, which I think is trying to say gorgeous without the S, but that's not right grammatically. So you look like a moron. So I'm sorry I bore you. You're not my target audience, but you know, in general, maybe you should spend a little more time with things that bore you and then you'll learn how to spell. And another piece of dating advice, since I'm a, a dating relationship person on Mismorphosis, um, I was reading in Maxim once. Maxim actually does have great articles. Um, in, in their highly controversial article, How to Score a Rich Girl, that number one is you should feign interest in what she has to say. Now, although I was dating at the time, and this did kind of, you know, make me a little bit, come on, this is a little bit hurtful, um, they make a very good point. So feigning interest in what I have to say is a much more effective tactic than telling me I'm boring. Just a, just a heads up. 
Okay, you should wear a bikini. All right, you'd like a bikini more than the flannel. Well, if I'm ever trying to reach you, I will keep that in mind. One, two, three, butter chicken. This inspired me to write about how good you would look sitting on my face. Um, to, to moose knuckle, I think that's that spelled backwards, so the moose knuckle, um, I, I appreciate your, your go for itness with, with wanting to please women. Um, that's, that's really, that's really nice. If you actually did write about that, I would encourage you to post that in the comment section. I'd, I'd love to see, see what you said about it and how your, how your writing turned out. Let's see. I want you to write a journey about the story of my bleep, how it grows arms and legs and the legend starts. As the blank uses its spitting acid to, okay, we don't need to read that. That's all, almighty Eddie, you are perverted. If you have questions about my blank, message me. Um, XKD Messiah, I do not have any questions, but um, if any other viewers do, feel free to message XKD Messiah if you have any questions about his, his nether regions. He's really eager to talk about it. I don't think he gets much action. All right, let's see. I want to shine my blank up using your forehead. Can you write a story about that? Almighty Eddie, it's you again. Um, I'm, I'm not going to write a story about that, and that's that's never going to happen, so sorry about that. Um, tits or GTFO? Again, you're not my target audience, but if I'm ever trying to reach you, I will show more cleavage. So those are the only ones I screenshotted. There were about uh, 30 or 40 of them this morning. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the most popular ones. This one got 19 likes by TX Coulter. Make a story about how TX Coulter's blank got penetrated into Big Al's rear end and then stuff radiated out of Yush Money. I, this Yush thing came up, I don't know what that means, so if that's an inappropriate word, I'm sorry for saying it to him. Um, that sounds like a horrible story, but you might have a future in porn, which is a very, very lucrative field, so I would encourage you to look into it, um, but I am I'm probably not your target audience, so I'm not going to be able to help you with that. Um, and then the second most popular comment was, write a story about large farva um, doing things to a giraffe while riding a carousel using Tabasco sauce. Okay, um, Christian, you are a very creative young man, and um, I, I wish you all the best in your creative writing efforts. So um, that's a small example of the kind of feedback you'll get if you're on the internet, even if you're wearing flannel. I mean, it really shows these guys have no limits. It also shows why if push comes to shove, you should get into the porn industry because no one makes as much money as porn. Um, there are lots of young men eager to be online at any given time, and they give you their undivided attention, even if you're in flannel and talking about writer's block. So I will put the link to my um, Meet the Man Who Hates Me article below here. Um, and I hope you guys uh, have a great day. Thanks, everyone, in the 30-Day Vlogging Challenge for being equally confused with me this morning and supporting me. And um, I'm glad that we can, we can handle these things together. And it's the Internet. It's a crazy beast. We can handle it. All right. Have a great day. I'll talk to you this weekend. Bye, guys.